really excited about the new ECAD MCAD integration between Eagle and Fusion 360. In previous videos we've shown how easy it is to push and pull board outlines between Eagle and Fusion 360. Obviously, the next step would be to map 3D models to components in order to achieve a more realistic model in Fusion 360. And that's the subject of this video. Hi, my name is George Garcia and I'm a support specialist for Autodesk Eagle. In a previous video, Ed showed how we can extract a comprehensive library from a design and then using a script reference that library in the design so that all of the components are coming from that one consolidated library. And that's going to be useful when mapping 3D components because we only have to worry about one library. So here, I've already done that with this library. This is a consolidated library from a design and the first thing we need to do is turn it into a managed library. You see Eagle and Fusion communicate over the cloud and everything is registered under your Autodesk account. So in the same way that you sign into Eagle and sign into Fusion 360, when you create your managed library you will be signing into the Circuits.io hub in order to map packages to your components. So this is all handle through the cloud. That's where all the communication and all the integration happens. Let's go ahead and turn this library into a managed library. We're going to click on library. Say create managed library. Now one thing I want to bring your attention to is this checkbox. If you leave it checked, your source library, the original library, will be co copied to this archive directory. That way you don't get confused with the managed library and the original one. In my case I'm going to leave it in place and I'm going to click on create. As you can see, now I have a managed library. Now this note is especially important. I'm going to really put a lot of emphasis on it. Okay, once you have a managed once you've created the managed library, you need to go into your schematic and board and do library update and select the managed library. This is very important because if you start adding components from the managed library, while you still have components referencing the original source library, now the update mechanism sees two libraries with the same name. And basically it won't be able to update properly from that point forward. So it's very important that once you've converted your library into a managed library, you go to your design and do library update, and that way all of the components will reference the managed library. So if we look, now we see the word managed library, and we see it has a version. Managed libraries are under a version control system. So through these two aspects we know and we can be sure that we're dealing with a managed library. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on Edit 3D Package on Web. This is going to take you to the Circuits.io website. Right now I'm showing you beta software so the link is a little bit different but it's going to look exactly the same when you work with it. So right now we're loading the library and as you can see we have components which are devices we have our symbols but now we have a distinction between packages and footprints packages being the 3D model footprints being the original Eagle package. I know that can be a little confusing but that's how the terminology is working now and if you notice we have these exclamation marks these let us know that we're missing a 3D package so now what I'm going to do is click on edit it's going to open a new tab now here, if you notice, we have the block representation. Once you turn your library into a managed library, all of the components will get blocks to represent them. Obviously, you can always return to that, clicking on Use Default Box. We can rotate. We can select a package from ECAD.io, or we could upload our own step file. For our purposes today, we're going to click on Upload Step. Select my 5 millimeter red LED. And now as you can see we have the LED model in place. Now if we observe below, and this is something you should always do, you'll notice that it was placed 90 degrees off in the Z direction. We can actually see the inside of the board, we can see the pads. So what we want to do now is we want to correct that orientation. So we click on the component, you get the arrows, you can rotate it using the, the handles there, but I like to put in an exact amount. So I'm going to put 90 for the Z direction, and voila. Now we have it 
correctly mounted. So if you notice, we have version 1 plus changes. What we want to do now is because everything is versioned, we want to create a new version. We put in a comment saying LED mapped. Say create. Okay, and now we're going to return to the library. So I'm going to close the package editor tab. Now we're back in the library. I'm going to click on the LED. You notice that it doesn't immediately update, but what you are going to see here is that now there's this update button. Okay, and what this is going to do is going to bring the library up to date with the new math model. So I'm going to click on update. It says all parent assets updated successfully. We close. And now we see that we have our package mapped. Obviously, you can now repeat the process with the other packages. You also notice that the version number has updated to 2. But now, we need to save a new revision of the library. Now, you can do this after you've mapped all the packages. I'm going to do it after I've mapped this first one. So I'm going to say mapped LED. Say create. Now, we'll notice that we have version 2. Now, in Eagle, our library is, our managed library is still at version 1. So we need to make sure to update it. So we will click here. We will go library, update to latest version. It tells us that updates are available. We click update. Now we see that we are at version two. Okay, and that's the process. So once all of the components in our library have been mapped to 3D packages, in the next video we'll see just how easy it is to update our fusion model with our new map components. Thank you very much everyone and have a great day.